Today on our 2016 Ford Explorer, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness for the factory tow package offering the 7-pole trailer connect. Part number is 118272. Now the 7-pole plug itself is a really nice setup. We've got a stainless steel spring in the top that's going to keep our cover down and closed. It's kind of hard for you to see, but inside the lid here we're going to have a gasket that seals all the way around the plug. It's just going to keep out that dust and that moisture, which can eventually cause corrosion and cause malfunctionings with your trailer. Now, something I really like about this installation kit is just how easy it really is to get everything installed. If you look over the customer reviews, there's several people in there that say very quick, very easy, something you can easily do in your driveway. It's just going to plug in right over here using that T connector. Now this wiring kit's a really simple, straightforward installation. It's not going to take you much time at all. Basically this is our T connector side. So this is going to plug in in between our factory plug. It's located right up here behind the passenger tire. And then it's going to give us seven functions here in our wiring harness. They're taped up now. But we're just going to slide these into the appropriate hole in the back of our plug. We'll be able to plug in. That's going to give us our seven pull. Now, in the kit, you have some small zip ties. I'd recommend having five or six larger, longer zip ties. You'll want to have a pair of side cutters. And then, if you don't already have it, pick up some dielectric grease. This is part number 11755. But outside of that, that's really all we're going to need to do our installation. If you add a bracket, you'll need a 516 bit driver. But really pretty simple. Now here's the plug we were talking about. It's going to be located outside of the exhaust right behind the rear fender well. You'll probably have a black one and then you may also have a white one. The one we want to separate is going to be the black one. We need to press in this little tab right here on the front and then just kind of give it a couple wiggles and that should separate for us. That's what the inside is going to look like. Now this is where our dielectric grease is going to come in. We want to fully coat the plug side. This just keeps out any moisture. It's going to prevent corrosion issues which will lead to failure of our wiring. I'm going to do the same thing on the T connector side here. Now we'll just get that plugged right in line. Now you want to be sure as you slide it together you hear or at least feel the little click. And you should be able to pull on those without them separating. Now I'm just going to throw a zip tie around my T-connector here. I want to keep this kind of up and out of the way. Just kind of tidy it up a bit. Now the other end we're going to route over to whatever position you've decided to mount your plug at. You do want to keep it up and away from the exhaust here. You don't want this wire to rest on your muffler. Then I'm going to use some zip ties and just secure right off to the hitch. That's why we wanted those that were a little bit longer. Now to attach the plug to the vehicle, we're going to be using two parts. One is going to be our seven pole bracket. You can see those oblong holes are pretty key with this plug for it to fit. This part number is PK12711U. And then we're using a short bracket. This is part number 18140. Now you see I've twisted that bracket just a little bit. Basically if you can hold the back flat and lift up on this side corner about a quarter inch, your bracket's going to be pretty level even with the turn that we have in the hitch there. And we'll just bring our bracket up and around our hitch there. I'm going to position it something like that. Now our clamp is just going to be like a worm drive clamp there. Bring that up and around. And while you've got your bolt sticking straight out, you can get most of the slack out. Then tip that bolt down, that'll hold position. Then again with a 5 16 inch socket or bit driver, we can tighten that up. We'll have a little bit of excess hanging off there. We can trim off, but as you can see, that's going to give us a really nice sturdy mounting location. Now we'll want to bring our harness through our bracket. We can start pinning the back of the plug here. Now we're going to start pinning our plug with the release tab facing straight up. We'll start right in the middle. 
and then there we want to put our yellow wire you should hear it click and then if you try to pull it it shouldn't come back out you'll know you've got it in the right spot and if we start with our tab right up there at the top again next wire will be the white wire it needs to go in the larger hole it's right over at the three o'clock position now we can go right above that that'll be our red wire next going counterclockwise we've got our green wire and we've got our black wire and again we've got red green black then we'll do brown Last one we'll put in will be our blue wire. And that's going to go, we put our tab at the top, right underneath our white. All right. Now we've got our keeper that needs to slide in. The tips here are going to fit in those four openings that we have right here. The blue and brown wire should be on this outside slot. The green and red should be on this outside slot and the other three should be going right up the middle slot. Once we have that in place, you just push down and those two tabs are gonna hold it for us. Now we'll put a little dielectric grease on that plug. And we'll plug our seven way right to it. Right, and again, you won't be able to pull on it without it separating. Now we'll use the hardware provided with our seven pole bracket here and get it secured off. You'll have nuts that have serrated lock washers on them. So you really don't need a tool for that backside, just a Phillips for the front. Here, now we've got the four of those tightened down. So just gonna take our excess wiring, tuck it up over our hitch and use a zip tie to secure it. We're going to be using our trailer tester here to test out our functions. You could also simply just hook up to your trailer. I just want to slide that in. You'll notice that on the cover, there's a little tab that sticks down. It's designed to hold our seven pole plug in place. So as that little tab comes down behind the tab on the seven pole, we won't have to worry about that coming back out. Now we'll head inside and test our functions and you see, should see our lights come on to correspond with it. We'll start by turning on our running lights. Now our left blinker, our right blinker, our brakes, and our reverse signal. Now to test our power wire, we'll just wanna switch over to our charge meter. As you can see, that's giving us a nice strong 12 volts there. And this is only going to work when your key is on, so that's something you do want to keep in mind. Um, if there were, if you do have a brake controller installed on your vehicle, now would be the time to manually operate that and make sure that either you can hear your brakes click on your trailer or engage on your trailer, or if you're using a meter that you're getting amperage and voltage. And with all of our functions working properly, that completes our installation of the T1 vehicle wiring harness for the factory tow package. Part number 118272 in our 2016 Ford Explorer. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.